hey dear welcome to you in my youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to show you how to add a field to a mailchimp list so this tutorial will be very helpful if you are looking easy guideline to add a mark field in a mailchimp list or add first name field in the mailchimp even you wanted to add birthday field in the mailchimp then you can continue this tutorial because here i am going to show you very easy and step by step guideline so that you can do this without any coding skill so let's get started first of all i'm going to log in my mailchimp account going to click on the login so i'm going to log in with my username password click on the login button okay i have logged in and this is my mailchimp account dashboard and here i am going to click on the create button then click on the sign up from so i wanted to add or create embedded from so i am going to click on here then click on the begin now i see there have a from building interface and this is the current from layout or current from style full name email address but uh, so now i wanted to add another field in here in my from for example i wanted to add a field like address so to do this i'm going to click on the settings click on the audience field and mark you tag okay so now from here i can add a field so to do this just click on here add a field so now here the type of field that we want for example we can add tax number radio button drop down date birthday address zip code phone website image i wanted to add birthday so i am going to click on the birthday field the birthday field added here now i am going to change the level birthday and we can make it required if you want and here the date format we can change anything day month month day just click on the save changes my from field added now i'm going to click on the overview looks here my new from field added here but day. we can also customize this from from here for example if you want to remove title just click on here we can remove show field just click on here this from is now more minimal and now you can use this from just going to copy and paste this code in your website in the next tutorials i will show you how to add this from in your website in shopify in wordpress or any other website so thank you for your time to watch this video if you like this video then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel